officially a really good time to get on a plane and go to New Zealand. Because look at the weather out here today. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing tonight. And then all of a sudden I woke up this morning, I was like, man, it's really dark for 8 o'clock in the morning. After something like 17 hours in the air, I finally made it to my first stop, Christchurch. So I picked up a SIM card quickly at the airport so that I could get in touch with my friends, and I headed out for a long layover in Christchurch. Luckily, I've got a friend that lives not too far away, so she came and picked me up, took me for burgers, we wandered around on the beach for a little bit before she dropped me back off at the airport to continue the rest of my journey to Invercargill. She and all of her friends are chiropractors, so I got a little adjustment before I put my backpack on for the next four months. Pretty handy. We walked down to the beach and I got my first glimpse of New Zealand. It's going to be so beautiful. I'm already excited to start this. my friend here and then we're gonna get get a move on hosted in Invercargill by a wonderful trail angel and his friends. He fed us dinner, we watched videos on the TV all night, and yeah, had a really I'm great time high. just hanging out. Yeah, so thanks Cody for all of your hospitality, <laughs> really appreciated it. The start of any long adventure like this is always a bit strange. It sort of feels like everything is happening all at once, but really nothing is happening at all. It's really just planning one day at a time. And our first stretch from Bluff to Invercargill was really just one day. So we only packed a few of the essentials because we were gonna be right back at Invercargill at the end of this day. For this trip, I'm not gonna lie, I did very little research before showing up to hike this trail. As my fourth through hike now, I've got all the gear, I know how to do it, and there's really only so much planning you can do. So for this trail, I figured I would just take it one piece at a time and kind of see where the pieces fall. Just keep it a bit spontaneous and see what happens. So welcome to New Zealand and Te Aroa. We're at kilometer zero and there's nowhere to go but north. officially started. I'm on the TA hiking northbound. Uh, I'm pretty freaking excited about it. It's really beautiful. We started in Bluff, which is the very southern tip of the South Island. And now just 3,000 kilometers to go.
Angel's house, house hanging out. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, I was hanging out with a cat, <laughs> but then it ran away. It's camera shy. So I just completed day one of the Tierra Roa, uh, which is pretty great. And it's funny, so it's a bit like the border tag on the PCT. You flew into Invercargill, and then you've got to get down to Bluff, and then basically you just walk from Bluff back up to Invercargill. So our host from last night was like, well, why don't you just walk back here and sleep here again? So it was like 35 kilometers from Bluff to here. And he was like, yeah, just stay here again. It's fine. So super nice. Yeah, just really, really appreciate all the hospitality that I've already gotten in New Zealand. Yeah, day one in the bag. 35 kilometers out and then yeah tomorrow we'll be like then we're on the real trail you know less of this trail angel probably sleep in a tent or maybe a hut or something but i don't know i haven't really looked at the map that much that's a later today problem so by the end of yesterday's really long road walk i was having some pain in a muscle on the outside of my foot and I had sort of hoped that if I slept and woke up in the morning, it would go away, but it was actually worse and my foot was like quite tender to walk on. So since we had a trail angel, we decided to spend one day, take our first zero, even though we'd only hiked for one day, and rest so that it wasn't just an issue that would continue on. So after one day of hiking, I took a zero day to rest my foot and then we'll get back on the road tomorrow. <laughs> Headed to physiotherapy. Let's see what they say about my foot. We shall One see. of the great things about New Zealand is that they have ACC, which is like accident insurance coverage, something. And so I wanted to get my foot looked at just to make sure that it was what I thought it was and it was just a bit of a strained muscle and not something worse. So I went into a physiotherapist, it cost like $30. They said, yep, you're good. It's just a bit of pain. You'll probably be able to walk it off. And they taped it up. Well, I am still in, in for cargo, but I just did a resupply. I'm gonna head to a campground, and then tomorrow, fingers crossed, I am back on trail for like a short day. I'm gonna ease into it, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We made it to a holiday park, and they had a really good deal for TA walkers, so we got these bunk beds. And this isn't really the way I intended to start my trail, but you know what? It's all part of the way it goes. It just happens sometimes. It's almost like we're hiking. <laughs> If you've been following this series of trail vlogs from the very beginning, you might recognize my friend Donuts from the PCT. When I told him I was hiking this trail, he said, awesome, I want to come. And so now we're going to hike together and see how that goes. Okay, it is time to get back on the road. It's been two days of doing nothing and I'm bored. <laughs> I'm ready to get back to hiking. So it's just 20 kilometers to the campground in Riverton, or 21. Um, it's all beach walking, which is like, eh, we'll see how it is on the foot. Um, but I just have to get moving, you know? I think if I just like go slow, it'll eventually work itself out. That's, uh, that's the hope. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Uh, we stayed in this cute little place last night. We've got to deal with the TA walkers, so it's only like 20 bucks. And I was like, yeah, that's fine, because it's a big thunderstorm again last night, and it's raining probably most of the day today, so it's just wet. We'll uh, see how it goes. to walk on so it made that part of the trail or not trail at least pretty comfortable
well, uh, perfect timing. It's like high tide. <laughs> so we popped up into the hills a little bit. <sighs> Beach walking for like 20 kilometers is just kind of tedious. Especially when it's exceptionally windy and very cold. <laughs> so it's gonna be a long, kind of, yeah, boring, tedious day. We managed to plan our first river crossing just perfectly because the river goes up with the tides and we managed to hit the river right at high tide. So instead of trying to cross a waist deep river, we hid in the hills and took a lunch break and a nap break because it was so windy and cold that we were pretty tired by this point anyway. So we waited for an hour, hour and a half until the tide went down so it was only about knee height and we could easily walk across the river with no problems. <laughs> Like we have like a four day food carry so we just stocked up at the grocery store and then while we were in there it's decided it needs to pour rain so that's always exciting we have one kilometer to get to the campground i think we're gonna get there uh soaking wet and sandy but i think it has a shower so i'm looking forward to that i'm tired a lovely end to our day Real nice. 